I'm going to have a look at the polyline tool. That's this one here. The corner vertex, the bezier vertex, the cubic spline, the tangent, the point on an arc, or the arc vertex. So let's just have a look. I use this one a lot, the corner vertex. It works really well when you want to have a pointy corner. Or the arc vertex, if you ever need to dimension the arc or the dimension the corner, this is the best one to use because you can set the arc, you can set the radius. Let's make it uh, five feet, 1500 millimeters. That way, when you create your polygon, you're always getting that consistent arc corner, which is really good. You can then dimension it. If we use our dimensioning tools, uh, where is our dimensioning tools? Here's our dimension tool. So I can dimension that as a radius. Now it's not exactly 1500 because of the, the two next to each other. So Vectorworks calculates the best radius for each of those. So that's the quick introduction to the polyline tool. I use it a lot in this first mode. And the reason I use it a lot in the first mode is because you can click and you can create square corners, which is great, because you can always come back and make a change to those. But if you click and drag, you can create a bezier corner. So click and drag your mouse, then release the mouse, and then come back to here. So all of this was drawn with the corner vertex mode, except that I was allowed to create these as bezier corners because of the way that I clicked and dragged. Of course, if we go back to the reshape tool, we can go to the reshape tool. We can make these into radii, if you like and create the radius that we need. When would you want to use this, Jonathan? Okay, well, let's have a look. Here I am, I'm drawing a site modifier. I need to draw a site modifier along here. I get my site modifier tool, which is the bulldozer. And I've got it in this mode because I might want to have a corner point, so I'm gonna click. But I come along here and I can go click, drag, click, drag, and then click again, so I can get my new contour to snap to the existing contour. There we are, and let's update the site model. And you can see there's my new proposed contours here. The blue ones are proposed and the green ones are existing. And in 3D, we see my new Bezier curve. So I just find that quick and easy because I don't have to worry about changing my vertex type each time. Now you can change them if you want. So if we go back to the polygon tool and we hit the U key, you see I can easily change my vertex type. Each time I hit the U key, it changes the vertex type. And I could start with that one, then I could hit the U key and then draw a Bezier curve and then hit the U key again and come back to it. I just find it quicker to click and drag. Hope you like this video. This is just one of my basic tools from my foundation course, which you can find on my website. The foundation course is one of the things you get when you become a member. So just check out that. And if you're not a subscriber to these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, hit the bell so you get notified. <laughs> Thanks for watching.